Hey, my name is Pepper Keenan. I play guitar and sing in a band called Corrosion of Conformity. And I highly love my orange amps. Clearly, when I think of orange, I think of the, the 60s, 70s coolness factor of what orange amps. I mean, they were unattainable things when I was a kid, you know. And uh, I knew, that, you know, if I could ever reach out to that, get to that level, that that would be an amp I would probably love. And I, and I was uh, correct on that. Yeah, the first time I tried out the Orange Thunderverb 50, uh, I actually was at a NAMM show in California, and uh, I just plugged into that thing, and it was just uh, instantly raked the G chord, and it was just a classy sounding, right out the gate, no pedals, real deal amp, and you could feel it, you could tell. And, uh, and, it, and the simplicity of it was what I liked so much. And this, just the tone, you know, you could tell it was a, somebody put some thought into it, it felt like a hand-wired amp. It's done extremely well, you know? I mean, I would put it against anybody. And, and for the way that I like to play guitar, you know, it really, it really gives back what you lean into it with, you know? And uh, yeah, it's just a it's top of the line amplifier. And it's, you know, like I said, it's designed well, but the shape knob is what got me. I don't even know what the hell a shape knob does, but I know if I turn it this way, it sounds like Master Puppets. And if I turn it this way, it sounds like Tom Petty. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, they ain't broke yet. <laughs> they, they, they're consistent and uh, yeah like I said man it's just once I, once I had that thing that was a, you know I, I kind of felt like prior to what that amps I was using earlier I kind of felt like I was getting ripped off you know I was missing something was missing and just the sustain the whole nine yards man it just really articulates what I think I am as a guitar player Well, and, and, and for me, in terms of uh, the way an amp is with, with orange, uh, the analog thing about it not being, you know, you open up an orange amp and it's just a bunch of wires and tubes and, <laughs> you know, there ain't much to it. It's just done well. And uh, I, I do think there's a degree of that era of amp making that goes with the sound of the rock that you're playing, for me. You know, even so far, some of the pedals that you use kind of go in line with that amp, you know. So, yeah, in, in terms of sounding real, like bands that I dig, you know, it's, it, that's it. It's got it. I have been using orange amps for a very long time, and I think, without a doubt, it is one of the most quality made amplifiers out there and if you need something to help you get your point across <laughs> there ain't nothing better than an orange amp you can ask just about anybody mm -hmm.